blockchain deployment platform QuickNode raising $60 million on an $800 million valuation to become the quote, AWS of blockchain. Joining us now with more is Alex Nobukovsky. He's the CEO and co-founder of QuickNode. Alex, we're in the middle of a crypto winter, but that's not stopping you from building and raising funds during a rough environment. What's your secret? Hi, everyone. Um, what's our secret? I mean, I guess tremendous growth that we have demonstrated over the last two quarters uh, in the mid of crypto, quote unquote, winter. Uh, mind you, the company was born in the last crypto winter, so we're not strangers to these things. Um, and so for us, it was um, really heads down building. And I think uh, most investors that came into the round recognized the growth. Uh, they recognized the amount of companies we, in the last six months, we signed close to 100 enterprise customers to the platform. Um, and so, and I think the, the, the other thing that's most important is that we're able to deliver the speeds that is just beyond competition. Um, uh, which is, you know, something that companies mm -hmm. are looking for. Uh, we're coming, you know, my, my, my co-founders and myself are coming from 20 plus years of infrastructure building. And so we understand latency matters, speed matters, reliability matters. We're probably the only company that's able to deliver 99.99% .99 SLA. Just for <laughs> reference, I, I'd say uh, if there, there are some companies offering 99% uptime, which means uh, more than three and a half days of downtime for um, for a project, and so that's completely unacceptable. So and so, tell more us more how companies are plugging to us. QuickNode works. I mean, you say you want to be the AWS of blockchain. What, what makes you better than AWS? And uh, maybe you can distinguish yourself from other com comp competitors out there, like Filecoin. Sure. Uh, so. I think the way we work is we simplify uh, the complexity. We're abstracting the complexity away from developers trying to build or, or companies trying to transition into uh, blockchain space. And so we allow a very simple experience where within minutes you have access to your endpoint that you could simply copy paste into your into your code and your your live. Where versus if you were to launch uh, an instance on AWS today and start downloading the data, and it will probably take you, you know, days, if not weeks, to, to go live. And so, depend, depending on the chain, of course. Um, and so, we're making it very simple. Uh, we, we are providing a very simple uh, way for you to start building on blockchain. We have lots of tooling available to you that, that uh, abstracts some of the complexities of interacting with blockchain data. We also have an um, amazing set of guides and tools that education program that lets you uh, quickly dive in and start experimenting on blockchain or um, or to get you up live to as fast as possible or, you know, speed up your time to market on launch, depending on what you're doing. So uh, one of the one of your your bigger, uh, not, I don't want to say the bigger, it was the 3% of your, your revenue came out from Alameda uh, and they, they apparently were using you guys. I assume I'm guessing here it was a, a lot of Solana stuff, correct? I mean, what what were they doing here uh, w with you guys? You know, now that they're gone, they're not. I don't think they'll be too upset uh, with at least some discussion <laughs> about uh, how, what kind of stuff uh, uh, Alameda was 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 building on because that, that's a that's curious. I'm just curious what what that was and how they applied uh, what you guys did. Well, I mean, they needed a really low latency network to be able to to read uh, data from the blockchain um, to fill some of the historical data and things like that uh, to see a history of prices uh, in tokens, etc. And so they were just using us for access to to read from the blockchain. So they weren't building any extra apps or anything interesting like that. It was just straight up. Uh... Well, we, you know, we don't really know what customers do uh, in, in their own labs, right? We provide access to reliable, fast infrastructure. Um, and so what, what they were building uh, is it remains to be seen, or it's probably somewhere in their documents. It's hard to say. Hey, maybe you might get um, it into bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps.
just, just curious why you use the sort of framing, sort of the AWS of, of blockchain. You know, AWS is such a like web two kind of phenomenon, and it's you know, so sort of the idea. I, I feel like that's the thing that blockchain and web three are supposed to be replacing. Like, it's supposed to be a new model. But we hear a lot of this on the show. People kind of using these these models as like we're going to be the next version of that. I mean, what what's the logic behind that? I think look, AWS changed the way developers and companies transact in Web2 or, or the businesses go live in Web2. And we're, we're trying to do the same here for Web3 for customers uh, interacting on blockchain. We essentially, you know, in, in a place, I, I mean, I'm probably old enough to remember to when there was, Amer prior to America Online, prior to Netscape, you had to log into BBS, bulletin boards, dial in, etc. Uh, and then that progressed mm -hmm. into, you know, America Online days and then past that past Netscape, etc. Um, and so, um, there, there's there's a lot of change coming into the industry, and I think AWS enabled a lot of companies quickly to move off premise, meaning hosting things themselves in their own data centers into the cloud space. And we're enabling companies to move from you know hosting their own nodes or infrastructure or developing their own tooling to focus on their roadmap and using us as a reliable partner uh, for the infrastructure side and to build with our with our with our tools. And I think. You know, a lot of decentralized projects are surprisingly built on <clears throat> AWS. So there's a lot of questioning about whether or not they're truly decentralized. And so if they're all on quick note and they're getting away from their own tooling systems of uh, nodes and whatnot to be decentralized, is that, does that take away from that push toward decentralization? Well, look, I, I think, you know, we're probably one of the only providers today that use more than eight different cloud providers, you know, not just AWS. I think what, we, what you see, with you, what you saw last year, there was, for example, MetaMask outage that was solely probably to the fact that they're hosting only AWS East. And so when AWS East were having issues, uh, MetaMask was, was unavailable to a lot of users. And so we're trying to solve that by spreading, you know, across multiple clouds. That also helps us to achieve latency that we have. We also um, use multiple bare metal providers in, in, in different data centers around the world in different regions. And so that helps with the decentralization, that helps with lower latency, that helps with the speeds and redundancy. And so um, I think, you know, there are a lot of projects being built. Like, mind you, this is, this is data that's being um, Read and, and written from the blockchain, the, the the actual technology is decentralized. All right, Alex, thanks for joining us. That was Quick Note CEO and co-founder Alex Novikovsky. Yeah.